Guess what? Sports are now canceled. Yes, due to real life becoming an A&E show that used to be good but kind of sucks now, we are living in an unprecedented time where all we can do is sit at home and boost our immune systems in our toilet paper castles. But there were other times in the history of mankind that sports weren't canceled because of Rudy Gobert. No, there were times that events were nixed because of things like terminology. Yeah, the time sports were canceled over dumb shit is coming up right after this. Well, the crowd is gathered here for the much-anticipated Manscaped 690 race. It looks as if the undefeated champion Lawnmower 2.0 is about to line up. Yeah, Dick, the Lawnmower 2.0 was... What, what's this? It's a new entry on the starting gate, the Lawnmower 3.0. Dick, I've never seen anything like this. Would you look at that? I'm seeing the new and improved trimmer designed exclusively for men's below the waist grooming that has some amazing new features. Look at that diamond texture, no slip handle, and is that my word, an LED light? Dick, sources tell me it's been upgraded to 7,000 RPM, still uses the same great ceramic non rusting blade, and now lasts up to 90 minutes of battery life. Damn, son, the lawnmower 3.0 is gonna be tough to beat, but did you know you guys at home can get in on this trimming action? That's right, Dick. Race on over to manscaped.com and enter in the code 5 points and you will get 20% off the new and improved lawnmower 3.0. And if you sign up as a subscriber, you will get 25% off and get replacement blades delivered to your door every 3 months. It's like a free oil change. Plus, you get two free gifts. Well, it looks like it's racing time. Bust out the checkered flag and get to grooming. Manscaped.com, baby. Let's be clear here about the criteria. Since YouTube loves to hit content with the yellow dot, I chose examples where the cancellation was preventable, not as the result of an epidemic. Let's get into it. The 1904 World Series. That whole Boston vs. New York thing has deep roots, like 116-year-old crusty, stupid roots. We all know the 1994 World Series was cancelled because of greed and stupidity, but the 1904 World Series was cancelled because of... a diss? Back in the early 20th century, there technically wasn't Major League Baseball. There was the National League and the American League, kind of like the AFL and the NFL of the 60s. And the NL thought that they were king sh Well, after winning the National League pennant, the New York Giants, led by John McGraw, decided to let his personal beef with Ben Johnson, president of the AL, cancel the World Series. McGraw said his Giants were already world champions because they won the senior circuit and referred to the AL as a minor league. Because of backlash, afterwards, the World Series between the two leagues was essentially made mandatory, and eight years later, the Red Sox beat the Giants in the big showdown. The series has been played every year since, with the exception of the aforementioned 1994 season and 2017. Moisture in the NBA, multiple times. You really hate the word moist, don't you? Well, the NBA certainly hates it, as the term used to describe both Cakes and Kevin Durant on Twitter has caused multiple games to be cancelled. How, do you ask? Well, many NBA and NHL teams share an arena, and if you didn't know, the NBA floor is laid right on top of the NHL ice, still frozen underneath. Sometimes, due to various circumstances like humidity, AC outages, or Disney, Evaporation of the ice beneath can lead to condensation on the floor, which makes for conditions more slippery than Daryl Morey's Twitter account. Games as recently as 2017 in Minnesota and 2016 in Philadelphia have been canceled due to moisture on the court, and I'm not talking about Joel Embiid. The 1975 World Chess Championship. Bobby Fischer is widely regarded by some as the GOAT of chess. And though his contingent and the Kasparov stands can argue down in the comments as if this was K-pop, one thing is for sure, Fisher was both pretty weird and kind of an asshole. After rising to the top of the chess world in 1972 when he defeated Soviet Grandmaster Boris Spassky in an extended metaphor for the Cold War, Fisher was set to defend his world championship three years later. However, Fisher had three stipulations to whether or not he would play. One. First to 10 wins, wins. Draws don't count. Two, unlimited amount of games. And three, if it goes to a 9-9 score, Fisher would automatically win. 
Only the first to 10 wins condition was accepted, and since playing for a 9-9 tie wouldn't be considered a win, Fisher withdrew from not only the tournament, but basically everything until 1992, when he came out of his reclusion and rematched Spassky. He crushed him 10-5, and immediately the Soviet Union crumbled. So called Bobby Fisher weird, but he did end communism. 1987, NFL Week 3. Yes, player striking is what we would call a dumb reason, but this is more of an example of adding more dumb stuff onto dumb stuff to make it less dumb and then ultimately smart again, if that makes any sense. In 1987, the NFL was in tense negotiations with the NFLPA and weren't anywhere near reaching a collective bargaining agreement. Two weeks into the season, the players decided to strike. This caused all of week three to be canceled and things looked to be pretty dire for the fans. However, the NFL had a plan and that was to use replacement players. Yep, guys off the street, former USFL players, and dudes like Todd Schlopey, who was working as a cameraman but became the Bills' place kicker. Probably a better option than Cody Parkey. Anyways, the union had trouble from the beginning as about 15% of players, including Joe Montana, decided not to strike. And though the football was terrible, eventually the scabs broke the union. After three weeks of awful on-field play, the NFL got back to work, having only missed one week. I think the Browns are still on strike, though. The 2004 NHL lockout. Yes, work stoppages might be commonplace in all of the leagues, as there has been at least one in each since 1994, but none were as dumb, damaging, heartbreaking, and probably necessary as the 2004 NHL lockout, in which an entire season was canceled. If you think the temporary hiatus now caused by bat soup is bad, imagine losing an entire year of your favorite sport because of the words cost certainty. Basically, many of the NHL teams in the league were losing money and they wanted a salary cap. Bob Goodnow and the players wanted a luxury tax and took a hard line stance on that. In the short term, they got neither. Players went to the KHL, the NHL lost millions, and the whole thing dragged on for an entire year as if they had unlimited milk and shit tickets. Eventually, the two sides sat down and the players got bent over a barrel and agreed to the cap, and hockey came back. Fans who remember the lockout still hold a distrusting animosity to Gary Bettman, who gets booed every time he's on camera, as he damn well should be. Good evening, Philadelphia. And finally, the dumbest reason to cancel a sporting event goes to the 2010 Islamic Solidarity Games. Well, if there ever was a misnomer, the 2010 Islamic Solidarity Games takes the cake. Having successfully pulled off multi-sport Olympic-style games in 2005, they were set to be hosted five years later in Iran. Everything was looking good. The host cities, the venues, the event, until beef developed over the naming of a body of water. Iran wanted to call the sea that touches Iran, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia the Persian Gulf. The Arab nations wanted to call it the Arabian Gulf. Well, I can't think of a better reason to cancel everything, so that's what they did. Saudi Arabia took particular exception to the term Persian Gulf being on the medals and printed material, so Iran tried calling it just the Gulf, but the damage had been done. On January 17th, 2010, the games were canceled. They resumed in 2013 and were held in Indonesia, where everyone calls that the Pacific Ocean, or is it the Indian Ocean, or the Banda Sea, or is it the Arfura Sea, or is it... Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be safe out there. And since you have nothing to do and there are no sports, practice good hygiene and go to manscaped.com and use my code five points and get 20% off your first order. Also watch all of my videos over and over again. I'm five points vids and you made it to my next video.